Hey guys, so it's been a few weeks since I've done a dedicated 3D printing video and uh, I'm also between numbers on that really cool number project that you're all hopefully following me on. So uh, today I thought I would do a quick impromptu video and we'll see how it goes. Here I've gathered a bunch of my favorite PLA filaments from the ones that I just trust to work to some of the more flashy ones that make your piece really stand out. So in this video, I'll be sharing some of my favorite PLA filaments, as well as some cool models I made using them. Yes, we're looking at some cool filaments here on Cool Print. I wanted to start out by sharing a really quick functional print I made using two filaments that I just started using and I instantly fell in love with. So I'm pretty excited about this. Now bear with me here, the idea is pretty boring. I wanted to make a spool holder for this new label printer that I got. Doesn't sound too exciting, but I think I made it cool using 3D printing, fun filaments, and uh, you know, custom design. This is a thermal printer, specifically the Rolo. It's a, a nice affordable, sturdy, very highly reviewed brand. And you know, I was pretty excited. You don't see very many printers with high reviews because Y'all know printers, they, they tend to be crap. So anyways, I got this label printer. The labels load in from the back, they come out the front, and um, you can buy labels as a stack of paper or as a roll like this. So here you can see we've got all these uh, four by six sticky labels and this is thermal paper, so the printer just uses heat to create an image on here. It's not actually using any ink. The problem here is that the printer itself doesn't come with a way to hold these rolls and you can't just have them loose. They sell a separate spool holder, but it's pretty bulky. It's not that fancy. I thought I could make something cooler with 3D printing and that's why I made this little guy right here. It's very simple and it just uh, pops into place like that. Woo! You load it up. A lot like a roll of toilet paper or something. But as you can see, this is a very compact design. I made it as small as I possibly could so that I could take this whole thing with me. Right now, this thing doesn't exactly stick in place, so I might hold it down with some double stick tape. But, um, you know, I just printed this yesterday. Anyways, super easy, convenient. It's a fun little functional print. But what I really like about this is actually the filaments that I ended up using. So this one you may have heard about. This is Wizard's Voodoo and it's the latest flashy filament by Filamentum. They've made a lot of really cool filaments. You're probably familiar with their Vertigo Gray, Vertigo Starlight, all those kinds of shimmery gray and purple filaments. Well, Wizard's Voodoo is probably the closest thing that I've seen to a dichroic filament, which means that it changes color based on the angle or based on the direction that light is hitting it from. It's harder to see on camera than in person, but from one angle to the next, this has a pretty dramatic shift from this cool dark phantom purple to a nice rich blue. And all the while it's got this kind of glittery shimmer to it which makes it a super cool filament. I combined this Voodoo Wizard filament with this stuff right here, which is a, a new filament that I hadn't heard of. The company is called Spider Maker, and they make this matte filament. So unlike most PLA that's really glossy and shiny, this stuff has a nice flat matte appearance, which I love and I've been craving. There have been a few other filaments that do it. Hatchbox Wood Fill looks pretty similar to this, but Spider Maker, has all sorts of different colors of this matte finish. Like the finish is awesome, but on top of that, they've got a great color selection. I suggest you check it out. Of course, these are some more premium filaments. As you can see, they come very nicely spooled on clear spools. It's, it's clearly high quality and you're gonna pay for that quality. So this Voodoo Wizard is way up there. This is sold as a 750 gram spool, but Basically, the cost is gonna come out to $60 per kilogram. And this stuff is gonna be somewhere around $53 per kilogram. So that's pretty expensive when you can get other filament on Amazon for about 20 bucks for that kilogram spool. Still, it's undeniable that these are some very nice filaments and they're really gonna uh, 
level up your prints in terms of making them look awesome. Now, by no means am I trying to rag on uh, cheap filaments. A lot of people ask me if these pro premium filaments are worth it, and I say it depends. So there's a lot of really great $20 spools that you can get. I've got this Rep Wrapper filament, uh, AMZ 3D, Amazon Basics makes filament now. There's also Hatchbox, which has got a pretty uh, long-standing reputation for making cheap filament. Matter Hackers Basics as well. These are all around the $20 per kilogram spool range. And you know what? I don't hate them. Basic cheap filament is probably great for most people. Personally, I found that right out of the box, brand new spools, the cheap, cheap stuff tends to work just as well as the more expensive filaments. Although I've noticed that over time, it seems that the cheaper ones get brittle quicker. So if I just have uh, a spool laying around in my garage for three months, something like this Amazon Basics filament gets pretty brittle and it starts to just snap versus something more expensive like the $40 spool of Matter Hackers Pro filament. Uh, this stuff maintains a bit more flexibility even over time. Now you could dehydrate your filament using a food dehydrator or a spool dehydrator and that'll pretty much help you retain that uh, flexibility in filament. So I don't know, if you're just going through filament really quickly, you'll probably use a spool before it ends up getting too old. And uh, even if it does get old, you can revive it by heating it up a little bit. So I guess it depends on what you're printing because if this filament is getting brittle on the spool, that probably means it's also getting brittle after you've printed something with it. So if you're trying to make functional prints, it might be worth it going with a slightly higher quality filament. Um, I mentioned Matter Hackers Pro. I also really love the Filamentum Extra Fill filaments. They're both uh, kind of my favorites in the premium filament range. Some other flashy filaments that I really like are the Polyalchemy Effects and Elixir filaments. So Polyalchemy has these two lines of filament that are both really cool, and I actually like using them together. So there's Elixir, which is this kind of shiny, silky colored filament, and then effects are these kind of rock textured filaments. So this one I think is granite. It's got gray with little black flecks in it, but they've got all sorts of different colors that are all kind of the same thing, really natural earthy colors with little flecks. And it's really cool. I've used those together to make a few things, like this uh, little ram that I made. It's got the elixir uh, horns, and then the effects filament used for the head of it, and it looks really cool used together. Those filaments also come on a 750 gram spool, but the price per kilogram comes out to something like $46, which is up there, but you know, you're paying for these fancy effects. Um, yeah, those are pretty much the filaments I wanted to mention. Let me show you some other little prints that I made using these filaments and others. Here's another awesome voodoo wizard print. I got this cool uh, effect on the first layer by doing some uh, slicer trickery, but this is a little deck saver that I printed for my OP1 to keep dust from getting into this expensive piece of music machinery. And uh, I gave it that really cool flair with this voodoo wizard filament. I also printed a little tiny OP1, or a OP1 half as I call it. And this was printed using that elixir filament, their orange V2, which I also used for this brain on a, one of my skull springos. This was actually a failed print. It didn't complete the skull. So I just ended up taking a, someone's MRI scan of a brain and cutting that in half and then gluing the two together to make a exposed brain skull just in time for Halloween. And here's another one I did. This one was made using cheap filament. So just to show you that you don't need to spend on the flashy stuff to get cool prints. This is that super cheap Amazon Basics pink. And then, uh, well, I don't exactly remember which PLA this was. This is an old print, but hey, just by combining two filaments, you can get really nice looking things, even if they're both pretty standard PLA filaments. You may have seen these before. My pineapple 3D scan and a Springo version. This was printed with Filamentum's Vertigo 
Galaxy. Yes, Vertigo Galaxy. And this is Matter Hackers Pro Transparent, which gives it a really cool icy look. Here we have a standard $20 spool of yellow PLA. And on top of that, we've got some of the Elixir teal, which looks so cool. So yeah, really love that Elixir stuff. And every time I bring up cool filaments, I have to mention Matter Hacker's uh, translucent aqua PLA, because that is just such a cool, such a cool color and uh, effect. The transparency has a really cool effect. Filamentum makes an Iceland blue that's very similar as well. Although I think it's a bit more expensive than this stuff. All right, there you go. A pretty random collection of prints. But you know, I wanted to share some of my favorite new filaments. I'm really excited to keep playing around with this matte spider maker stuff. Uh, the Voodoo Wizard is so cool, of course. If you're thinking of buying any of these, please consider using the links that I put in the description. Many of them are affiliate links, which help me get a small cut of the sale at no cost to you. So, uh, you know, if you want to support me, that's a great way to do it while getting some awesome filaments for yourself. Anyways, that was a pretty quick random video. I want to get back to making more numbers for that number project. So uh, that's it for today. But until next time, I'm Devin, this is Make Anything, and as always, stay inspired. Thank you.